Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video, I'm going to be talking about my transfer strategy in the next few game weeks leading up to double game week 24. So yesterday, I made one free transfer and that was to transfer Burnley's Nick Pope for West Ham's Lukas Fabianski. The reason I did this is Nick Pope's next two games we can have a look here. Actually, his next four games are very, very hard. And if I had kept him in my, in my team, I don't think he would have kept a clean sheet. Whereas Fabianski for West Ham, he's come back from injury. And as you can see, he has got eight and six points respectively in this past two games after coming back from injury as well. We can see that his next two fixtures are away to Sheffield United and at home to West Ham. There is an opportunity for him to keep clean sheets and also for save points. I'm also thinking about double game week 24. Now with Fabianski, with him being back, I've got him in because I see him as a particular differential. In other words, having at least one West Ham player playing in double game week 24. Albeit he is against Leicester and at home to Liverpool, but having an extra player from West Ham could be a very good differential. As you guys know, I'm currently ranked inside a top 10k in the world. And my intention leading up to double game week 24 is to have all my chips in hand. Therefore, I plan just to make a few transfers without taking any hits, or if I do take a hit, a maximum of a minus four hit. Therefore, after the double game week, I'll have all my chips in play. The risk with doing this is that I can see other people playing, be playing their wild cards and their free hits, which means my rank could potentially drop out of the 10k. However, I do have a plan where I do think I can keep as close to the top 10k as possible without playing any of my chips. Now, if we look at some of the transfers I am thinking of making leading into double game week 24, one of the first transfers I am thinking of is making a transfer for Everton's Mason Holgate. As we can see from his fixtures, His next five fixtures are pretty strong. Now, if I compare him to Crystal Palace's Martin Kelly, there are a few issues with Martin Kelly, actually. So, for example, if we look at his fixtures, we can see his next two games are very hard against Arsenal and Manchester City. These are two games which I definitely do not plan to play him in. As well, on game week 23, Joel Ward is expected to come back, which potentially means that Martin Kelly is going to be losing his place, which means if he just stays in my team and sits on the bench, he is basically dead with to me. If we look at Mason Holgate's previous fixtures, we can see that from game week 10 to game week 21, he has not only started every single game, but he has played 90 minutes in each and every game, including the games which have been led by Carlo Ancelotti, which means that he looks like he's going to be a definite starter in Everton's first 11. So at the price of 4.4 million, with an ownership of 0.7%, he is an excellent option to play in the next five games and could be a very, very, very good differential. Another budget defender I am looking to transfer in is Brighton's Lewis Dunk. As we can see from his previous fixtures, he's basically played 90 minutes in nearly every single game, but also you can see that he has also provided assists, goals, and also bonus points. If we look at his next few games, we can see all these games here from game, game week 22 to 29. There is a possibility he is going to get returns in every single game. And so I think he's going to be a very, very strong contender for me to get in. In my midfield, I'm thinking of Tottenham's Son Hyun Min. As you can see here, his percentage and his ownership has dropped to 5.6%. 
as well as this, he's actually back from suspension in the next game against Liverpool. Albeit, uh, albeit being a very difficult fixture, we can see his next two games are away to Watford and at home to Norwich. So he can be a very good differential, especially that a lot of people will forget that he's actually back from suspension. So getting him in this early could be really be a good idea. In my attack, I'm potentially thinking of getting in Brighton's more pay. We can see from his fixtures from game week 22 to game week 29, his fixtures are very, very good. And he is a player that is starting under Brighton's manager. And as you can see here, he is scoring goals. The other option is Watford's Gerard Delefeu. We, we can see that Watford, Watford's form has picked up. And again, Delefeu is scoring goals. And he has a very low ownership of 2.3%. Both of these options both depend whether I want to downgrade Marcus Rashford. Now, the reason is because I don't think Marcus Rashford is actually worth £9 million. For me, he's worth £7 million. He performs very, very badly against the lower league uh, teams. And I think that by downgrading Marcus Rashford to maybe upgrade to a Mo Salah or even a Liverpool defender makes more sense for me. So, guys... This is potentially my final team for double game week 24. As you can see, I'll have Lukas Fabianski from West Ham, as well as Joe Gomez, Sadio Mane and Mo Salah from Liverpool, which means I would have four players playing in double game week 24. The transfers I would make would be to, make, would be to get Mark Mason Holgate in in my team, as well as Mo Salah and Gerard Delefeu. By doing this, I would make sure that I wouldn't take any hits leading into game week 24 and have all my chips intact. So guys, if you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you can, please leave a comment and a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, until next time guys, peace out.